Welcome to this short lecture about the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom is a term that is often used in association with different statistical tests. The degrees of freedom is the number of values in the final calculations that are free to vary. A simplified interpretation of the degrees of freedom is that it corresponds to the sample size minus 1 when we estimate one parameter. The degrees of freedom is then expressed like this. For example, if a computer one sample t-test based on a sample size of 40 observations, our degrees of freedom will be 40 minus 1. We will therefore use a t-distribution with 39 degrees of freedom. Generally, the degrees of freedom is equal to the number of observations we use to estimate the parameter minus the number of intermediate parameters we need to estimate. For example, if we would estimate the population standard deviation with the following formula, the degrees of freedom is then equal to the total sample size minus 1, because we first need to estimate the population mean value before we calculate the standard deviation. To get a general understanding of the degrees of freedom, let's consider a simple example. Suppose you would ask four individuals to pick a number. You also tell the four individuals that the sum of their numbers must be equal to 100. For example, the first three persons pick the numbers 10, 30 and 20. The sum of these three numbers is 60. Since the total sum of the four numbers must be equal to 100, the fourth person is not free to pick any number because the only number that is left to get the sum 100 is the number 40. Now, suppose the first three individuals have selected the numbers 0, negative 10 and 20 this time. The sum of these numbers is 10. The fourth person therefore has to select the number 90 because the four values should sum up to 100. The degrees of freedom for this example is the sample size minus 1 which is 3 because the first three individuals are free to pick any number that they want, whereas the last person must pick a specific number so that the sum of the four values is always equal to 100. The last person is therefore not free to choose any number, which explains why we subtract by 1. I hope you now have a better understanding of the concept of the degrees of freedom. See you in the next lecture.